Hello, 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 possibility seekers. How are you today? I want to talk to you about dirt and dreams. Excuse me. I am a dreamer. I could come up with 20 different things, new, unique, whatever, by breakfast. I when I get when I from the minute I wake up to my head hits the pillows, I got a million ideas popping into my head. All kinds of random, some not so good, and some are pretty good. But I was born a dreamer. But I have I've had to learn over the course of time that I have to get in the dirt. And the dirt's the details. I am not a detailed person. I see mile post of where I want to end up but the in-between I struggle with because I just don't I don't see those details and when you start your own not-for-profit which I did you know 21 years ago or you start your own business just recently you have to get into the details and if you struggle in it like I do now there's people like the opposite Crystal who is a detailed person she's a dreamer but she's much more focused on details I am much more focused on dreaming. So you have to have somebody offset that part of your personality. However, if you're doing your own side business, you don't have somebody that can come in and do the details for you. So you really have to start doing it. And I have learned recently, and I'm kind of surprised by this, that I kind of am liking the details. I'm kind of having fun with it. You know, figuring out, you know, how does your, um, how to, you know, how to get a bestseller on Amazon. It wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. It was com It's completely different because I never paid attention to the details. I got my book, I threw it up there. You know, I picked a category or two and I was on my way. And fortunately, a friend of mine, Kyrie, came in and helped me and said, hey man, you know, you're not doing this right. So, you know, it's the details. It's taking the time to study and figure it out. You know, doing an online webinar. I've spent a lot of time figuring out how to do online webinars for my November 14th um, Helio Trauma class. But it's funny when it comes to healing, like healing your trauma or reframing your past or, you know, figuring out what values you want or, you know, what shadows are lurking within, that I can get right into the details. And so I've had to realize that if it's something I really love, then I might be more of a detailed person than I thought. But I have allowed people to tell me I'm not a detailed person to the point where I would be like, I'm not a detailed person. When I first, you know, we first started Arizona Alpha, Everybody was like, well, you're certainly not a detailed person. You're certainly not a finance person. Well, I was being told this by people that do finance for a living. So seriously, no, you're right. I, I don't have an MBA from Wharton, you know, but I, <laughs> I, have some, I have some accounting classes from the University of Arizona or, um, you know, I, I'm not a detailed person like you because you've been, you know, doing details your whole life. You have to understand what it is you're good at and what it is you're not good at, but keeping in mind, you don't wanna give up what you're not good at if it's important to your business. So you may not be good at financials, and I find a lot of women, and I don't mean to categorize, but I find a lot of my friends, they, you know, they have accountants, which we do, you have an accountant that handles all the finances because they don't wanna look at it. But you have to look at it because that's your money. That's your money. It's not your accountant's money, that's your money. So you really have to pay attention to the financials. That's, that's a detail you can't give up. So I've spent a long time learning accounting within a not-for-profit business and now accounting within a corporation, but a very small, teeny tiny corporation because that's my money. I wanna know where my money's going. I wanna know where it's coming into. I wanna know what's going on with it. So even if you say to yourself, I'm not a detailed person, you have to be a detailed person in certain areas. You have to get into the dirt. You gotta, you gotta like the dirt. Now, I don't love the dirt. You know, if push comes to shove and I have a choice between sitting and sitting on the beach and dreaming or sitting in my office doing, preparing for a board meeting next week or a conference next week, I'm gonna lean towards sitting on the ocean dreaming. And if you ever wanna dream ideas, let me know, man, I am your girl. I can brainstorm ideas for people all day long. And it took me a long time to realize that. And that's why I have a lot of friends that want to start businesses will show up on my doorstep. <laughs> took me a long time to realize, oh, because I'm good at that. Know what you're good at. Don't say you're not good at something because that's just pushing it off to the universe. You might say, you know, I don't enjoy doing accounting. I don't enjoy typing up minutes at all. I don't enjoy all the paperwork involved with regulatory issues. 
but I enjoy the lobbying for it. I enjoy the testifying in front of the Senate for it. So you got to balance yourself. Know what you're really good at. Know what you're really not good at. And instead of saying I'm not good at that, just say I prefer not to do that. So I'm going to contract that out. Graphics is not my jam. I wish I had the, the eye for fonts and graphics, but I don't, so I contract that out. It's just not what I do. And so you can't be good at everything. So you've got to understand what you're not good at, but be willing to get into the dirt. And if you're a dirt person, get be willing to, to dream. Because as you're, as you're in the dirt, you've got to be able to look up and say, I want to be there. You have to be able to look up and say, you know what? I want to be in Paris next year, or I want a new car next year, or you know, I want a new couch next year. Whatever it is you want, you've got to be able to look up and know where you're, where you're going for when you're in the dirt. Because if you can't dream it, if you can't bring it down into your mind, it'll be hard for you to achieve it. So light the, light the dirt and light the clouds, light the dream. Light the dirt and the clouds, some you like better than others, and different pieces of it. But you got to do both to be really successful. So if you say, I'm a dreamer, and that's all I have to do is dreaming, then somebody over here is probably taking your moolah from you <laughs> because you're not paying attention to the details. Or you're over here paying to the attention to the details, and you're telling everybody, these are the details to my business, and this is what I'm going to do. And there's a dreamer over here that sees your business where it could be. While you're over here trying to get everything going, they see it as you could be, and they go to somebody else and say, hey, you're a detailed person. Can you create this for me? And a detailed person will be sure. So compliment yourself. Make sure you have, you're good in what you need to be good at. And if you're not, if you're not prefer not to be good in something, then contract that out. I hope this helped possibility seekers. Let me know if you need anything, if you have any questions. You know my birthday's coming up, so I'm pushing my ebook, Blue Rose Bookstore, The Gift of Why, or The Journey of Healing, whichever version you look at. They're both the same. I'm just testing titles. Um, available on the Kindle store. I reduced the price to 99 cents. So go grab your copy. It'll only be reduced, I think, for a couple days, and I'll put it back up to where it was at 9.99. So got that going. If you have any help or you need anything at all, let me know. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.